It seems as though the days get busier and busier. So much of my time is spent simply driving from one place to another. I spend so much time in my car, at least 10 hours a week in fact. And when I finally get the opportunity to spend time at home, it feels empty. The landlord won't let me have a dog, not that my life would allow time for a dog, but still, it would be nice to have something to go home to. It was this thought that made me decide to get a fish. I began considering all my options and decided that I would get a green spotted puffer fish. I imagined what it would be like to have a pet fish, and in my mind I thought it may be more similar to owning a dog. Queenie, did you mess on the carpet? Go to your tank. Don't give me those sad eyes, don't. Queenie? It was official. I was going to get a green spotted puffer fish, and that fish was going to be my dog. The dog that I wasn't allowed to have, that is. I also realized that this fish was my responsibility, and another aspect of keeping her alive was getting her to eat, and a picky eater she was. I tried brine shrimp, she said no. I tried blood worms, and she still said no. Finally, I put live snails in her tank, and it was like watching Jaws kill an unsuspecting swimmer. I felt bad for the snail, but I was proud of my fish. As time passed, we both settled into our roles quite well. I still went about my busy day, but I started to notice that I looked forward to coming home to see her. Although she just swam around her tank all the time, I took comfort in knowing that she was there. One time, I don't know what I was thinking, but I pet Queenie. She let me pet her. She finally felt like my dog. One night after a long day, I was watching TV and I looked over to notice that Queenie was not swimming around. My heart sank. After that night, it was hard for me to adjust to life without Queenie. Although she was only a fish, she provided me with some sort of companionship, just like any dog might. Even though Queenie was no longer with me, I still thought about her all the time, and thinking about her somehow made my busy schedule more bearable.